Because Ford has got it right, the other one. Goodwin's got yeah. it wrong. Sorry, mate. Just sticking, I mean, sticking with history and historic comparisons, you hear a lot of talk now that the next election is going to be a 92 or it's going to be a 97. Are those comparisons useful? Do they say anything to you? Not really, because uh, every, every election is different. Even the two elections of 1974 were different. And if there were going to be two similar elections, it would have been them, wouldn't it? In the same year, mm. uh, seven or eight months apart. So every election is different. Um, the background, you can demonstrate globally, graphically, how the background hasn't shifted all that much. Mm -hmm. but. The responses to the background can shift. People's condition of life, not just standard living, shift. Their ages shift. Um, so every election is different and it's, generally speaking, set in a particular, quite narrow uh, window of history. Um, that while a lot of people will vote on the basis of their own or their parents' memories and experiences, that's a, a given, a foundation, mm -hmm. the people who make a difference in the election are not doing that. They're not very consciously breaking away from doing that, but they are voting much more immediately on their experience of the recent past and their hopes for the not too distant future. I mean, while, so it's bound to be different. While we're talking about those very few people that actually make a difference in elections, are you a supporter of PR? Yes, yes. Why? Um, I suppose I can sum it up. Uh, I looked at the results in 1983 mm -hmm. and I saw that uh, Margaret Thatcher had secured 150% of the power which she used a thousand percent on the basis of about 43 percent of the vote. And I thought, this can't be sustained, this can't go on. And of course every result since has tended to reinforce that. Even when we got a Labour government with a healthy majority in 2005 on less than 40 percent of the vote. Um, that simply reinforced my view. Uh, that we need greater proportionality. I'm not arguing for perfect proportionality. That would be fantastically complicated. But there are systems that can enable us, enable us to have uh, constituency members of parliament on a much more proportional basis. And that's what I've favoured for the last 40 years. Because I could never say it when I was leader of the Labour Party because that would have produced the headlines, Labour admits it can't win. And you simply can't have that in terms of demoralising your own troops or giving undue encouragement to the other side. So it's going to be always difficult for a main opposition party to say we favour greater proportionality. But I think that there's a remorseless rising of opinion in our country that says we can't really go on like this. And the problem goes much wider than just our voting system. Mm -hmm. It's to do with our whole unwritten constitution, the inadequacy of which has been exposed by the abuses of power, especially with the Johnson government. And so I think more people are thinking, uh, is an unwritten constitution that is capable of being manipulated and abused by those who happen to be in power, an adequate way to run a modern democracy that is in any event much too over-centralized. So 